Hi, my name is Dr. Seglum. I'm a neonatologist at St. Bernard's Medical Center. I want to talk to you today about care of your baby after delivery at St. Bernard's in the era of COVID-19. The health and safety of you and your baby are of utmost importance to us at St. Bernard's. We'd like you to know that the American Academy of Pediatrics officially recommends that mother and baby be separated after birth. This is because there's no evidence at the current time that COVID-19 can be transferred to the baby before delivery. However, there is ample evidence that babies can become infected with the virus after birth. Therefore, the American Academy of Pediatrics and other experts recommend that optimally, mom and baby should be separated after birth. This may mean separating you from your baby in a whole separate other unit. Uh, however, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia, also has a secondary recommendation that if it is not possible for you and your baby to be maintained in separate units, that it is possible that as long as a minimum of six feet distance between you and your baby and a barrier such as a curtain between you and your baby can be used as a less than optimal but secondary method of separating you from baby to prevent transmission or at least reduce the chances of transmission of COVID-19 to your baby. So when you come to, to the hospital to deliver your baby, if you are found to be positive for COVID-19, you will find that we will recommend separating you and baby into separate rooms after delivery. We have a special COVID OB unit and another COVID NICU unit specially designed to prevent or minimize the transmission or likelihood of transmission of COVID-19 to your baby after delivery. If that is not acceptable or if for some reason that is not possible, we may at least put the partition such as a curtain between you and your baby and have you stay at least six feet away from your baby. In either case, we would like you to designate a separate caregiver who is not positive for COVID-19 and is a healthy person that can help take care of your baby by doing things such as giving feeds or doing diaper changes or routine cares for your baby. If there is no alternate person available for you to care for your baby, we may ask you to don a mask and do proper hand hygiene before such things as nursing your baby, expressing your breast milk, or doing baby's diaper changes. Please understand that all of these measures are being taken in order to best care for you and your baby and maintain the best possible environment for keeping both you and your baby healthy and safe. Thank you.